Hello students, uh, so after a long time I'm back on YouTube and this time I have come up with a beautiful concept that is uh, Grashoff law. Uh, this law is uh, in fact very simple and uh, we have studied in our 9th uh, 10th class uh, a simple rule of uh, triangle, triangle law and that is applicable here. Let us take a 4 bar chain. This is a 4 bar chain. Now let us assume that this to be link A, link B, link C and link D. Now if you just observe the white link, just focus on white link. I repeat, just focus on white link. Now just imagine what is this? It is completely rotating. You just see this white link is completely rotating. Observe clearly. This white link is completely rotating. Can you see? Can you see? This is completely rotating. So if you want one of the links in a four bar chain to rotate completely, what are the conditions required? Let's do one thing. During the course of its motion, complete rotation, let us track some paths. The, please observe here. This is one path. This is another path. This is the third path. And this is the fourth path. And finally, it is back. So my dear students, when this white link is making complete rotation, it is making four triangles. One triangle, just observe one triangle. Second triangle, you just see second triangle. Third triangle. And this is fourth triangle. And back fifth. So I want to track all these four triangles and let me show. This is one such position. Let me show very clearly. This is one such position. This is A, link A. This is link B. This is link C. And this is link D. Okay. Now, let us track one more position. This is first position. Let us track one more position. Observe here. This is one more triangle. If you observe clearly, this is one more triangle. So let me take this triangle and show you very clearly. This is one more triangle. That is, this is A, this is D, then we have B and we have C. Let me repeat my dear students. This is one position. Please observe this is first position. This is the second one. And third one if you see the third one the two links are these two a and b are overlapping they are overlapping so I am showing you very clearly so observe here so B is the link and a is the link and a is overlapping a is over B so if you see clearly if this is B and this is a if it overlaps what is this length so I repeat sirs this is A and this is B. This is B. If it overlaps, what will be this distance? This will be, this B is more and A is less. So it will be B minus A. So the triangle formed is B minus A, C and D. So therefore, one more triangle is, let me show you very clearly. This is B minus A. Then we have C and then we have D. Great. And let's see the next position. Next position. This is the next position. This is the next one more triangle. If you observe here, one more triangle. So now D, A and D are overlapping. So observe here, A and D are overlapping. Please understand clearly. So I will write this as D. This total length is D. This total length is D. And A is here. So what will be this length? This total length is D and this is A. So what will be this length? It will be D minus A. So the triangle formed is, now I'll show you very clearly. It is D minus A. Very good. And then it is B. And then it is C. It means, observe clearly, when white link is rotating completely, during its motion, I found four triangles. So if it is rotating completely, I tracked four triangles. So now you know the simple rule that you have studied in your 9th, 10th class. What is the simple rule of triangle? The sum of any two sides is always greater than the other remaining side. For example, if this is one side, now what is this side? Can I write this as B plus A? Definitely I can write it as B plus A. So according to the triangle principle, 
if the triangle is to be formed, the sum of any two sides should be greater than the other side. So that is simple principle. So they call bar C plus D. This is one side, this is another side. The sum of three, these two sides should be greater than the other side, that is B plus A. Yeah, say, come to this triangle, come to this triangle. This, this total length is B plus A. So A plus and the sum of two sides, that is B plus C. The sum of two sides, that is B plus C. Dekho, B plus C, the sum of two sides should be greater than other two sides. So other side, sum of two sides should be greater than other side, that is A plus D. Very good. From here. Now, the sum of two sides, the sum of two sides, I repeat, this plus this should be greater than this or let me write. So this plus this should be greater than C or, or this plus this should be greater than this. Anything I can write. Ab dekho. Now, if I write very clearly, dear students, understand carefully, this plus this, for example, D minus A plus B, that is the sum of two sides, sum of two sides should be greater than, sum of two sides should be greater than the other side. I can also write, I can also write, this side plus this side should be greater than the other side. So, C plus D minus A, C plus D minus A should be greater than the other side. Wonderful, my dear students. So from this triangle, I can write this plus this sum of these two sides should be greater than the other side. That is B minus A plus B minus A plus D should be greater than sum of two sides greater than C. Or I can also write the sum of these two sides that is B minus A plus this side should be greater than the other side. B minus A plus C should be greater than other side. Wonderful, my dear students. Now what we do is now. Let me erase this. Let me erase this and I will obtain all conditions. This is the first one that is C plus D is greater than B plus A. The second one is B plus C is greater than A plus D. Very good. Now, ek kaam karo. now you take A to that side. So therefore, D plus B, D plus B, you take A to that side should be greater than A plus C. Already I wrote this condition. Already I wrote this condition. Now, here we have, let me erase this. Now we have C plus D, C plus D is greater than, you bring A to this side, A plus B, this is also over. Now, you take A to that side, that is B plus D must be greater than, B plus D must be greater than A plus C, wonderful sirs. And ye bhi ho gaya. Now let's take this, B plus C, B plus C, take A to that side is greater than a plus D, A plus D. So now observe. Let us see some distinct conditions. There are some same conditions. Ek, ek second, dekho. C plus D is greater than A plus B. Are these two same? Yes, they are same. So let me put these two as one only. C plus D is greater than B plus A. Now you see, B plus C, B plus C is greater than A plus D. B plus C is greater than A plus D. Wonderful. And one more thing. You see this one. D plus B, D plus B is greater than A plus C. And these are the three distinct conditions obtained when one of the links is rotating completely. Observe here. So dear students, this is the white link. So if you want the white link to rotate completely, we have tracked four triangles. From those four triangles, we got this condition. So A is the length of this link, B is the length of this link, and C is the length of this link and D is the length of this link. Wonderful, my dear friends. Now, observe. Let's see the beauty here. Now, have a look at this. Have a look at this. Look at carefully. Now, what we do is, my dear students, ek kaam karo. Let us, let us take this as 1, this as 2 and this as 3. Let us add 1 and 2. So, what do I get? C plus B, sorry. C plus D plus B plus C. I am adding these two. So C plus D plus B plus C is greater than B plus A plus A plus D. We are adding left side and that is greater than this side. Ab dekho, kya kar sakte, sir? I think what can I do? Look at carefully. I think I can cancel DD. Correct. Anything to be cancelled? BB can be cancelled. Yes. Now we are left with 2C. C plus D is 2C is greater than A plus A is 2A. Means can I write 
C greater than A or A is less than C. Absolutely. So please focus on this white link. My white link is A. So I got the condition A less than C. Is ka matlab, this length of this link is less than C. I got this condition when I added 1 and 2. Now let us add 2 and 3. If I add 2 and 3, B plus C is greater than A. Oh, sorry. You add these two. 2 and 3. You add 2 and 3. So you get B plus C plus D plus B. Yes. Is greater than A plus D plus A plus C. Look at. Now. Observe clearly. Kya cancel kar sakte sir? I think D, D can be cancelled. I think C, C can be cancelled. B plus B is 2B. Greater than A plus A is 2A. So therefore B greater than A. What does it mean? When B is greater than A. A is less than B. I got A as less than B. When I added 2 and 3. So already when I added 1, 2, I got this. When I added 2, 3, I got this. Now let us add 1 and 3. Let us add 1 and 3, dear students. If I add 1 and 3, what do I get? If I add 1 and 3, so C plus D, C plus D, plus D plus B, I have added these two, greater than 1 and 3, 1 and 3. B plus A plus A plus C. Ek second ruko. I think B, B can be cancelled. C, C can be cancelled. D plus D is 2D greater than A plus A is 2A or D greater than A or this can be written as A less than D. So I got one more condition, A less than D. Oh my God. So if you focus on, dear students, if you focus on this completely rotatable link, isko dekho. look at, if you focus on this completely rotatable link, I obtained four triangles. From four triangles, I got these conditions. What is your observation? Dekho. A is less than B. Yes. A, A, A is less than B. A is less than C. B, A is less than C. All this. Matlab, out of four links, which link is rotating? Shortest link. A is less. A is less. A is less. It means, if you want one link to rotate completely, it is the shortest link. It is the shortest link. Wonderful, my dear friend. So, if you see, so, see completely, if you saw A rotating completely, when A is rotating completely, when A is rotating completely, when A is rotating, they go completely, 360 degree, when A is rotating completely, I tracked four triangles, from four triangles, I got this condition, means, I got A less than B, A less than C, A less than D, means, A is the shortest link, so therefore, the rotatable link is the shortest link, now, kuch aur beauty dekhenge, now we'll see something more beautiful, my dear students, observe here, now, we got conditions. What were those conditions? If you see conditions. Now, observe clearly. The shortest link is rotating. I got A plus B huh, less than B plus D. Sorry. A, whatever three conditions I gave. A plus B is less than C plus D. The other is A plus C less than uh, B plus D. The third condition that I got was A plus D less than. Already I gave you all the three conditions. The three conditions are B plus C. These were the three conditions. From these conditions only I could get A less than B, A less than C, A less than D. A calm carousers. Look at carefully. Already I know that A is less than B, A is less than C, A is less than C, uh, D. So can I say A is the shortest link? So I will represent A as up. A ko kya represent karenge? It is the shortest link. So I will write A as the shortest link. I will write A as shortest link, shortest link, shortest link. Where S is nothing but A. Okay. When A, this is the shortest link. Out of these three, A is shortest link. Wo to hoga. Out of the remaining three, one may be longest. Let us assume this is longest. Let us assume this is longest. Then someone said, why B is longest? C can be longest. Why C is longest? D can be longest. Means anything can be longest. So if this is longest, what do I get? If B, are, are, when S is, A is shortest link, B may be longer, C may be longer, D may be longer. So there is a possibility. So if B is longer, you get C plus D. Similarly, S plus. Agar C longer hai, you get B plus D. Agar D longer hai, if B is longer, you get B plus C. What does it mean? When one is shortest, one is longer. When one is shortest, one is longer. 
let me designate other two links as PQ. So I am designating links as SLPQ. S is the shortest link, L is the longest link, one is shortest, one is longest, other two maybe neither shortest nor longest, I designate it as PQ. PQ are neither shortest nor longest. So we got the condition S plus L less than S plus L less than P plus Q. S plus L less than P plus Q. S plus L less than P plus Q. So you get only one condition S plus L less than this is if this is shortest longest this is PQ. If th this is shortest longest PQ. This is shortest longest PQ. So this condition is your Grashof law simply from your mathematics that is triangle principle we got this mathematics we from mathematics we got this so this is known as Grashof law so what does Grashof law say it says that if one of the links is to rotate if one link is to rotate completely if one of the links is to rotate completely if you want one link to rotate completely what is the condition the shortest plus longest should be less than the other two links. So my dear students, I have this, I have this. So here in my case, the shortest link is 6 inch and the longest link that I took is 14. Mere figure, yes. And P is other two links. P is uh, 10 and Q is, uh, it is 12. What is this? Like, dekho. This shortest link size is 6 inch and this is the shortest link. A is the shortest link. A is the shortest link and P is the longest link. This is longest link and other is A, B, C, D. So P, A, uh, P nahi re, baba, B, uh, sorry, ye sa hai? Uh, D, I'm sorry. I took D as the longest link. Ab dekho condition satisfy hua hai S plus L. What is S plus L? 6 plus 14. And what is this P plus Q? What is that? 10 plus 12. Oh my God. 6 plus 14 is 20. This is 22. And obviously 20 is less than 22. S plus L is less than P plus Q. That's why when, the, when this condition is satisfied, it is known as Grashof law. What is Grashof law? If one of the links in a four bar chain is to rotate completely, then the sum of shortest and longest should be less than the other two links. Agar ye condition satisfy nahi hua, I'll give you one thing. My dear students, I have one more, I have one more four bar chain. Here, the shortest longest, S plus L is not less than P plus Q. Therefore, yis mein kya ho raha hai? Complete rotation nahi milega, complete rotation nahi milega. That is known as non-Grashoff linkage bulte hai hum. Now, the beauty here to be noted is, Please understand carefully. Please understand. And now, in the next session, I'll be explaining how inversions are obtained from this Grashof law. How inversions are obtained by fixing different links. And next session, I'll be showing you these models. With these models, in the next session, I'll be showing by fixing different links. This co reference lete hue. With this, I'll be showing you the beautiful analysis of different inversions of four bar chain. Thank you. All the best. God bless you.